You could do so. I'm going to play the New York City police, where we're going to protect our city from those who are attempting to do what is happening globally. There is a movement to radicalize young people, and I'm not going to wait until it's done and all of a sudden acknowledge the existence of it. This is a global problem that young people are being influenced by those who are professionals at radicalizing our children. And I'm not going to allow that to happen as the mayor of the city of New York. So the men and women of the New York City Police Department, you should be proud of yourself. At the request of Columbia University, uh, after speaking with them uh, throughout the week, at their request and their acknowledgement that outside agitators were on their grounds training and really co-opting this movement. At their request, we went in and conducted an operation to allow Columbia University to remove those who have turned the peaceful protest into a place where anti-Semitism and anti-Israel attitudes were pervasive. Approximately 300 people were arrested at Columbia and City College. We are processing the arrest to distinguish between who were actual students and who were not supposed to be on the ground. And we pointed out yesterday uh, these external actors with a history of escalating situations and trying to create chaos, not to peacefully protest, but create chaos. If you were at City College and you saw the bottles, uh, the garbage cans, the other items that were thrown at police officers, those police officers showed a great level of discipline to not allow this to evolve to an out-of-control situation. As we pointed out yesterday, they are attempting to disrupt our city, and we are not going to permit it to happen. And we're proud to say they have been removed from the campus. The NYPD's precision policing ensured that the operation was organized, calm, and that there were no injuries or violent clashes. And to be clear, this is not our analysis of what took place last night. National independent journalists acknowledged what the police department did yesterday, and they were all